We are now going to discuss VOR navigation in the next series of videos. VOR stands for Very High Frequency Omnidirectional Range System. Although these are still around, they may get phased out in the future, but are still a fun and challenging way to navigate. VOR systems emit a signal, and most airplanes are equipped to receive signals that come from these stations. A VOR station emits 360 degree radials, or think 360 spokes that come from the center of the station. The zero degree spoke is north, 90 degrees is east, 180 degrees is south, and 270 degrees is west, as you already know. Your chart will depict these stations. For example, here's the Hallsville VOR. You will notice the VOR station is in the center of the compass rows. There are markings every five degrees. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and so on. The smaller lines are 5 degrees and the larger lines 10 degrees. Numbers are added every 30 degrees around the rows. You'll also notice a box associated with each VOR. You will see the name of the VOR, which as I said for this VOR is Hallsville, and then the frequency to dial into. For the Hallsville VOR, the frequency is 114.2. Now the radios in many planes are often called NAVCOMs because they are used for navigation and communication. VORs use frequencies ranging from 108 to 117.95 MHz. These are below the frequencies used for communications which range from 118.0 to 135.975 MHz. The navigation part has the VOR receivers that pick up the signals from VORs. To receive signals from the Hallsville VOR, we need to be in line of sight of the VHF signals that emit from that VOR so any obstacles between us and the VOR can block the signals. We also need to dial into the 114.2 frequency, so I will do that now. Notice when I dial into that frequency, I start to hear Morse code. You want to make sure the Morse code matches what you see on the chart to confirm you have the correct VOR. In the real world, if you don't hear anything, it's possible the VOR station may be offline for service. If you hear the test code of dash, dot, 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 dash, the VOR is probably not reliable for navigation. The VOR receiver sends what it receives to the VOR indicator. The VOR indicator has a needle called the Course Deviation Indicator, or CDI, and is used to determine if you are on or off course. The up arrow, known as the flag, indicates you are set to fly to the VOR station. When you see NAV, that indicates either your VOR navigation equipment is in the off position, or you are flying over the VOR station. The down arrow indicates you are flying from the VOR. From is often used to determine your location, which we will get into in another video. You use the OBS knob to dial into one of the radials. There is an inbound radial and an outbound radial depending on the direction you are going. For example, my heading might be 30 degrees, which means I would be flying inbound on the 210 degree radial and outbound on the 30 degree radial or my heading might be 240 degrees, meaning I would be flying inbound on the 60 degree radial and outbound on the 240 degree radial. Subscribe to this channel to learn more.